What's up guys? Welcome to the new Rockcom vlog. Behind me it's a covered up bike as you can see and also Renato. Hey. Today is one of those days where we're gonna be one of the first in the world to unveil a brand new bike from KDM, special bike. Long story short, it's time to unveil it. Welcome to the new KDM RC390 in the GP orange color. What do you think, Renato, about the complete orange inspired by the Grand Prix KDM bikes? It looks great. I like it more than the blue one. Actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna pin down below a comment where you can vote between the blue version and the new GP Orange version. So let's see which bike you like more. Renato, what's the plan for today? Uh, so guys, as you know, we already did a review vlog. You can find it somewhere up here. We did a stunt with it and now it's the time to do a fast lap. We are on our local racetrack Linda Ring where we test all our bikes that we built. So uh, you'll probably see some videos. If not, you can find it on our YouTube channel. It's a completely stock bike. So beside the time attack, I would also like to try some features out that makes a lot of fun so let's gear up and let's go okay let's see what the new rc390 can do let's go bike is warmed up i'm warmed up let's see three two one go. okay good start let's go quick shifter working smooth boom fifth into a down shifting supermoto slide oh yeah Okay, knee down, throttle, 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 third gear, boom. Right knee down, boom, down shifting. Fifth puff section, tough technical section. Okay, bike feels really light. This is gonna be a fast corner okay here is now very crucial accelerate accelerate third gear fourth gear Whoa. what do you think it felt really fast if i'm honest really i felt really stable on the bike and knee downs all the grip there i have a good feeling so the new time is 49 point 72 no way yeah really yeah. that's super quick so yeah this is the time here from all our bikes so let's see where the new kdm rc390 fits so how would you compare this bike to the old version if we see that the old one that was completely race built bike already it had 49.3 seconds around the track and this one completely stock has 49.7 so it shows that KTM did a huge step forwards into making that bike even faster than the previous version the aerodynamics of the front mass really helped to be faster yes it's a bit bigger but that's why you have better ergonomics and the wheels you can really feel them around the corner so you can throw the bike way more faster around the, the corner so it makes the whole bike feeling lighter and faster so I'm really curious when we start to build that bike into a race bike, how fast it can be. So guys, drop already some comments below, some ideas what performance upgrades we should do. I'm really curious to see your opinions. So you didn't say that you got uh, another feature to show? Uh, yeah, true. Uh, I want actually to try out the Supermoto mode. I'm a rookie. And in the comments I always see, yeah, it has a Supermoto mode, but a rookie cannot use it. I'm a rookie, I can drift, but Supermoto sliding is something completely different than drifting with a bike. So I'm gonna try out how much I can Supermoto slide with that RC. Let's see it together, let's go. If you ask yourself why Supermoto sliding, it actually makes you brake later, accelerate sooner, and that's why your lap times are way faster. The crucial for Supermoto sliding is arriving at the corner at high speed, downshifting for two or three gears, and then yeah, touching the rear brake a bit and front brake, everything together. So full throttle downshifting and sideways and accelerating okay on 
another super moto slide let's go and braking downshifting and into the corner and accelerating out these little super moto slides were so much fun okay they weren't the pro level sideways to the extreme but uh, it showed that every rookie can learn and use this uh, super moto mode that this bike has uh, the rc390 or the 390 duke always remember me how much fun are the low cc bikes and they are not punishing you on every mistake you do on the racetrack or in the stunts but you can really hone your skills so definitely one of the most fun bikes i ever ridden and we'll do that in the future and i'm really curious how faster we can do it so don't forget drop ideas below what should we change on that bike and again double thumbs up to ktm team to make the rc even faster that's it for this time guys see you in the next one until then rock on